Hi guys, Tim again with Southern Exposure. Welcome to another episode. What we're planning on doing today is we have uh, the few logs we got to mill up on the, the sawmill. So we'll be running the sawmill and the edger both at the same time, uh, edging these the flitches as we cut them straight off the mill. Uh, two of the logs that we have to cut up today are have a lot of rot and I don't know how much usable lumber we're going to get out of it. I'll show you that log right now. Okay, so I've already got this log already in the clamp and everything. It's ready to be cut. Uh, this log right here on the large end is roughly around 17 and a half inches. On the small end, it's 16 and a half inches. There isn't that much taper in this log. However, it has a pretty significant bow. So right now, what my plan is as far as cutting it is I have bow up, the belly up. I'm going to go ahead and cut that belly out of it. Then we're going to turn it 180 degrees and cut the horns off. And we might end up having to turn it 180 degrees again so we can cut into it to get past all this rot to get in here to where all the wood all this good wood right right here because the rock comes into about right in here so i'm projecting probably anywhere from uh eight to ten inches worth of good usable lumber um that's what i'm hoping i'll get but we won't know more until we open this log up and take a look at it so let me show you some more of the ones we got to end up doing today Okay, there's this log right here. As you can see, it's burnt on the ends. There's a whole lot of carpenter bee holes in this. I don't know what I'm going to get out of it. It has a lot of limbs coming off of it, as you can see. So I'm going to have to cut all those off so we can work on it and see what we can get out of it. Then this one right here being the next log after that with all the rot on it has a significant amount of rot right down here on this end and right in here. Uh, I'm hoping I can get maybe eight to 10 inches worth of good wood out of it. Um, right now I'm scraping the bottom of my pine log pile and I'm trying to get all of them ran as pot much as possible so I can get the old stock out and uh, before I can bring in some more logs. So now that you end up seeing the logs that we plan on cutting today, why don't you go ahead, um, grab yourself a glass of sweet tea, kick back, relax, and take in a little bit of southern exposure.
Okay, now that we have cut this log down and we've gotten the final width of the cant that we're trying to take and cut up into lumber, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand this log up and then we're going to start taking cuts on the other side. Let me show you where the uh, juvenile wood is in, re in relation to where our cuts are. Okay, so as you can see, the pith of the log is right here. And the juvenile wood is this ring right here. So all the wood on the inside right here represents the first five years of growth of this tree. So this right here, juvenile wood. You don't really want to cut into that. You don't really want that. A juvenile wood is extremely weak, brittle, and it's loaded with, uh, with limbs where, or uh, knots where the limbs were. So you don't really want that. I mean, it, if you get it mixed in with some good wood, okay, well, it's all right then. So with that said, my plan is to take and stand this up. We're going to stand it up this way and start taking slabs off. We we'll probably won't start taking uh, lumber off of it, usable lumber, until we get about this far into the... Uh, side right here which is the first two inches outside of that two inches uh, the wood is just like it is right here it's very punky so we're gonna try and get past that and get two inches down two inches up from this side and we might have probably about nine inches worth the usable one by eight out of it one by eight ten foot so Let's get to it. Okay guys, now that we ended up getting that done, how about I show you uh, some of the finished product we ended up getting? Come with me. Okay, so as you can see, we got a little bit of wormholes in here. Here, there, I think there's a couple more. This is a 2 by 8 and uh, we got a little bit of denim going on here. Not bad though, it looks pretty good. Overall, a little bit more denim. Got some of the juvenile wood in there. Not bad. All right, now let's go out here and look at some of these uh, one by eights we ended up cutting up. All right, so as you can see, this stuff looks pretty good as well. There's a little bit of worm holes over in here on those one buys. I think I got a little too close to the punky area. But for the most part, I think these one buys look remarkably well. Not bad for a log that's sitting at the bottom of a pine pile. So, with that said, I hope this video has been educational. I hope you've enjoyed it. So, if you would, please go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. We really do appreciate it, and we really do appreciate you. So, God bless.